Hey, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. In this video right here, I'm going to tell you about how to start your clothing brand on a budget or even your apparel t-shirt business. So, um, this video is not going to be the same as the typical ones where I tell you to go buy some kind of thousand dollar, two thousand dollar, all of the top tier equipment. This one right here, you know, we're going to hit it very, you know, grassroots. We're going to hit from the very affordable price ranges. So it's not going to be you know, the, what the quote unquote professionals tell you to use because it's not going to be top tier platforms, top tier softwares that they use to generate sales and t-shirts. So right here, it's going to be what you need and how you can get started on a budget. So um, I'm going to shoot for between a hundred to three hundred dollar range. Of course, that's excluding your computer or laptop. Um, you could possibly start with a phone. I'm not too sure, but let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need is your actual product design. So when it comes to t-shirt designs, there's, you know, obviously I typically use something like Photoshop or Illustrator to get the design done. Now, they have the Creative Cloud package, which could cost upwards of $50 a month. But right here, um, what we're going to use is something like Canva Design. So with Canva, what we're going to do is use the free 30-day trial and get our design done. So what Canva is, is pretty much like a template editor. So we can go on there and look at the logos that we like and the designs that we like and we can edit it to, you know, the, the fashion that we would like. You know, of course, we're not going to get the 100% full creative uh, control, but at the same time, um, it's easy to use and, you know, it's not going to be a huge learning curve for you to get started. So all you have to do is log into there and just start designing. And then from there, we take that t-shirt design and we get that t-shirt design printed. Now, there are a few other websites that may be a little more budget friendly, something like Fiverr, um, where you can get designs, of course, starting with $5. You're not going to get the very best designs at that price range. You're going to, you know, pay for what you get. But there are a few designers on there. If you go on there and then, you, you know, you click their images and you see what they've done before. And you look through the price range and the reviews and see if that's something that you would like as well. So that's going to help you also if you want something that's a little more creative than the actual Canva platform itself. But this is going to be a nice little way to get a design done, um, especially for free if you don't have the budget to start. One of the next things that you will need is a website. So you have a landing page for all of your visitors and customers to come purchase your actual items, right? The other platforms that I usually mention are really expensive. So the one that I'm gonna mention right here is called Zyro. And with the link that I have down below, you can get up to four months for free and 72% off. And Zyro is a really easy platform to use. It's very drag and drop and it's an easy way to build your online store. So they also have the e-commerce section on it and they have a lot of other features on their website as well, including you know your custom email, um, your email marketing. So like I said, this is a real easy platform to use, especially with a drag and drop editor. And and even if you don't have any experience with website building from before, um, you could probably start selling within an hour. Just head on over to my link down below or um, type in Hustle Ninjas as a promo code and you should be able to get up to 72% off plus four months free. So make sure you check out Zyro. Zyro is also our sponsor for this video. So much love to Zyro. So on to the next thing, which is production. Um, there's two different ways we can handle this. We can, you know, handle it ourselves or we can use a print on demand uh, platform. So. When it comes to using a print-on-demand platform, we might not have that 100% creative control. Not all platforms have the custom uh, hang tags, and you might not be able to add your extra little goodies like your stickers and whatnot. But you know, there's going to be pros and cons to both. When it comes to starting your own, you can start off with like a $200 Amazon heat press and some 15 cent transfers. A website that sells some 15 cent transfers, which would be TKO Sales. And we've done this in previous videos. We could probably even do it at the end of this video. It's pretty much just put a transfer onto a t-shirt and it's gonna almost feel identical to a plastic saw actual screen print. So it's actually fairly nice and whenever you do it yourself, um, you're also going to be able to add the custom hang tag, add in all those little extra items and whatnot as well. So you have that full creative control as well as the quality control. But when it comes to print on demand, you don't have to worry about all of these things, production and fulfillment. And you can also start off with, you know, zero dollars in equipment investment. All you have to do is pay for your actual t-shirt to get printed. So there's websites like Printful and there's websites like Printify. Printful, you have a lot more of those features where you can, you know, add an actual custom hang tag. And if you want to get further advanced, I know they have like the whole inventory feature where you can send them your, your items that you want to add into your bags and whatnot. But that's very advanced. Right now, we're just talking about the bare bottom and getting started. So 
you can use print for it, you can just printify all you have to do is add your design onto the actual t-shirt and once a customer orders the actual t-shirt you know they print and ship the item for you so you don't have to worry about paying for equipment you just gotta worry about paying for the actual t-shirt whenever somebody orders it so most of the time i know with my printify premium uh, membership which you can also have a 30-day free trial for with using the code hustle ninjas um a full color print t-shirt for me is only eight dollars plus shipping which is around four or five bucks so it's around 12 13 bucks to get a t-shirt printed and shipped to the customer so if you're charging 20 bucks you're still profitable even at 16 or 17 and that might sound like a lower margin than you doing it yourself well that's because it is however you save time on actually doing the production and fulfillment and worry about where you can take those profits and put it back into the business where you can uh, invest in better designs or a better website or you know whatever it may be later in the future all right so what the heck let's go ahead and uh, press up a t-shirt and I'll show you how it's done in-house if you want to take it that route as well okay so when it comes to actually heat pressing your own t-shirt Obviously, this isn't one of the cheaper heat presses, but at the end of the day, the cheaper heat presses do, do the exact same things, um, which is the main purpose, which is getting the actual transfer onto the t-shirt. Um, these right here, they're just a little more expensive and they have like a few extra features. Primarily, they're just built with like more industri industrial metals and just more sturdy material, you know, additional screws and whatnot. They're just built to last for a very long time. These right here are just gonna cost quite a bit, but you know, you can start off with 200 bucks. Also check out Facebook Marketplace because that's the way I started. I started with $500 and I'm at where I am now just because I bought a used heat press. So make sure you check out face Facebook Marketplace. If you want like a nicer heat press, um, you can typically find some for cheaper on there. All right, so um, this is going to be a 15 cent transfer. You can grab something like this on tkosales.com. And you know, if you take your actual t-shirt, all you gotta do is lay it down pre-press it real quick put the actual transfer on and then you give it about 10 15 seconds um, usually these instructions come with your actual material whenever you purchase it it doesn't matter where you purchase your transfers your media from um, they will always give you the temperature and the actual pressure and time that you need to uh, use in order to create the t-shirt so now, I already have a t-shirt. And with this, you can create this with like a little $200 heat press if you wanted to. So the price really doesn't matter at the end of the day. And like I said, whenever you create it yourself, you can also order, you know, transfers with your actual uh, name tag on it. If you want to get a little more customized, take this actual tag off. This is a tearaway t-shirt. This is a guild and soft style. And then you just flip the t-shirt inside out and do the exact same thing. When it comes to the actual blanks itself, you can go to alphabroder.com or jiffyshirts.com. And prices has ranged in the past few years uh, just because of COVID and all the shipping containers and whatnot. Um, but a shirt like this is between like probably two to three bucks, especially for a guild and soft style. And something on the higher end, maybe like a next level or a belly canvas would be like 450. So in total, you're talking about less than $5 to create an actual t-shirt. And now, like I said, whenever you ship t-shirts yourself, you know, you can add little stickers and whatnot to your actual poly bag. Poly bag, you can also get on Amazon or Uline. Um, Amazon's gonna be a little cheaper to begin with. And then put your shipping label on there. Now, when it comes to a shipping label, obviously, that I think that's around 200 bucks. But what you can do is um, print it on, on a regular uh, sheet of paper and just tape it to the actual poly bag. Or if you want, you can purchase the little Avery sheets, whereas you can print it with your uh, regular house printer, and it's just two half sheets of stickers. And that's also a more affordable option to start off with. Another thing with creating the actual t-shirt itself is you can, you know, also make a few extra t-shirts to put it on and take a few pictures for your actual website. And then here's another thing with uh, doing it yourself is you also have a little bit of flexibility since you're not going to a screen printer and getting a whole bunch of t-shirts mass produced. You can pretty much control the actual colors and whatnot, the sizes that you start off with. Uh, I know the next big question you may have is how many items should you start off with? And for me, the way I've always done it, of course I have my more popular sizes like large, extra large and 2X has always been like my more popular sellers but 
I really don't even purchase t-shirts until the orders come in. So let's say a t-shirt order comes in, go find that blue t-shirt in a size large and then order the actual t-shirt, let it come in, press the t-shirt, ship it to the customer. Just make sure you do it within that shipping time that you give to your customer. Let's say you know, the shipping time on your website is between three and seven business days. Make sure the first day you get that order in, order that t-shirt. Most of the time these warehouses are nearby, so you can do a pickup or you can get it shipped pretty quickly. Get the t-shirt shipped to you. Um, it might arrive that same day if you're picking it up or it might arrive in three to four business days and then get it pressed and shipped out that same day. So you're always getting it shipped out within those three, seven business days. So that's a way that you can get started is pretty much print on demand, but you're printing it on demand by yourself. Print on demand has become a coin term for a lot of these platforms such as Printify and Printful and whatnot. So when it comes to Printify, um, you can also use Printify to create your actual mock-up design for your t-shirt. So even if you have the t-shirt to ship out yourself, just go on Printify, create the actual mock-up, and just make sure the actual product is not linked to fulfill automatically. That way you're not charged when somebody purchases it. And you're just using the actual mock-up design. So when somebody purchases the actual t-shirt, Printify doesn't ship out the t-shirt, you're shipping it out yourself still. But that way you have a way to create a mock-up for free. So there are pros and cons to fulfilling it yourself or using a, a platform like Printify. Now the next thing is all of those more expensive softwares that you may want to use in the future, like upgrading your website, upgrading your designs, getting t-shirts mass produced. Those are things that I didn't know when I first started off. I only knew how to heat press a t-shirt. Everything else, I promise you, if you start off, it'll fall in place. You'll figure it out at a later time. It's gonna go with a whole bunch of failures, a whole bunch of struggles, but you know, the most important thing is you take all that capital that you're making from selling t-shirts. It may sound small to begin with, four or five dollars profit a t-shirt, or you know, it could be 10, 20 dollars profit a t-shirt. Make sure you take it and you reinvest it and always, you know, make things better, your website better, your product better. You always have to reinvest it and make sure you never fold. The problem is that a lot of people invest into a $200, $300 heat press and they say it's not for them and they fold. The problem with folding and giving up is that you don't challenge yourself to get better. You don't think that you can do it. And that's the most important thing is believing in the fact that you can do it because, you know, the sky's the limit in this industry. You shouldn't listen to all those people who say like the clone brand niche is saturated, t-shirt business is saturated. Um, there are differences between creating generic t-shirt designs and clone brand as well. Clone brand is gonna be a real long-term play. But at the end of the day, you know, you can do whatever you wanna do. You know, the amount of money that you're gonna make is really dependent on you. At the end of the day, the t-shirt is just gonna be a way to get your brand, your identity, your, your message, whatever it may be out there. Um, money is just a, a small part of it. You know, the, the most confidence you're gonna gain is just getting started, getting a t-shirt done, shipping it to your first customer. There's gonna be no type of confidence that's gonna beat that. And that's what's really gonna motivate you to keep on going. You're just gonna have to keep on pushing yourself to, to learning something new. That's really the most important thing about this game. Um, even if you, if you've watched through this video and you already know all this, I appreciate you anyways, because you're probably already a subscriber, but this is for those of you all who want to start on a small budget and you know, you might not have all the money in the world to get started. This is a real affordable solution to get started. And for those of you all who watch all the way through, the most important thing is just to keep learning. You know, if I would have gave up learning, I probably wouldn't even be where I'm at now, you know? Like I said, take those profits and invest it in other things. You know, uh, pay for pay for a consultant, pay for somebody who knows how to do Facebook ads, pay for coaches. Um, but make sure you do your research on them first because you know, I've paid for coaches, I've paid for consulting, I've paid to learn Facebook ads, I paid quite a handful of money for all of these things. So just make sure you do your research on that person to begin with. Um, make sure you're not paying for somebody, you know, say if it's somebody doing t-shirts and you've barely seen any type of content or business that they built out doing t-shirts. So I hope you enjoyed something from this video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. I'm gonna see you next time.